I am teacher Jane. I welcome you, all of you, to our Bible story. Children, are you happy? Uh, let's all of us join into Bible story. I'm happy to meet you all of you, but today I have brought for you a, an interest story. Do you like story in the Bible? Yes. Do you know do you know why we like story in the Bible? Because it gives us joy, happy and peace inside our heart. So all of you, you're most welcome and I hope you'll be able to enjoy this story. So before we continue with our story, let's read one verse in the Bible. In the book of Mark chapter 15. Children, are you there? Do you have a Bible there at all? Yeah, if you have a Bible, let your mom and your dad to open for you. Let's open our Bible in Mark chapter 15. If you have a Bible, let's open Mark chapter 15 from verse 6 up to 15. If you don't know where is Mark, Mark it is, you can open Mark it is next to, from Matthew to Mark. Mark is the second book in the Bible, in all New Testament. So if you have opened the Bible, we can read together. Children, are you there? Yeah. Then if you are there, let's read together. Mark chapter 15, verse 6. Con let's read. <coughs> now, at the feast, uh, now at that feast hill, he released unto them one prison, whosoever they desire. And there was one named, there was one named Bara, Barabbas, which lay bound with them that had made insurrection with him, who had committed murder in the resurrection. And the martyred cry aloud be, began to desire him to do as he had ever done unto them. But blood, blood, Blood answered them, saying, Will ye that I list unto you the king of the Jews? For, the new, for, for he knew that the chief priest had delivered him for envy. But the chief priest moved the people that he should rather release Barabbas unto them. And Pilate, Pilate, Answered and say again unto them, What will ye what will ye then that I shall do unto him whom he called the king of the Jews? And they cried out again, Crucify him. Then Pilate said unto them, Why why what evil had he done? And he and they cried out the more exactly, crucified him. And so Pilate, Pilate willing to condemn, condemn the people, released Barabbas unto them and deliver Jesus when he had shown him to be crucified. Children, this is an interesting story in the Bible. But this story, it is between me and you. There is a story about salvation. It is a story be about what? Salvation. I like this story too much inside my life. Do you know why I like? It is talk about salvation. Children, do you like that such a story in the Bible? Yeah. Now, as we begin, there is two people in this story. Uh, there is Jesus and Pilate, and also we have uh, Bar Barabbas. Do you know the work of Barabbas? Uh, before we continue, uh, this, the, the Jesus, when Jesus was caught, he was brought into the prison because of the sin, because of what? Uh, sin. But also in that prison, there was a man called Barabbas. But when we see, uh, Barabbas is the one who committed so many sins. Do you know what sin that he committed? In that, when in the Jews, there, there are so many people who are uh, uh, fighting one another. But when Barabbas saw uh, people, uh, 
people are fighting, he went and also killed more people. That's why he was able to enter into prison. But in that prison, also they brought who? Jesus. Do you know why they brought Jesus in the prison? Ah, does, uh, even you can ask yourself, why is it Jesus entered into prison? There is a reason why Jesus entered into prison. Even me, I was asking many questions about this. Why is it Jesus entered into prison? Is it because of what he has done? No. Jesus, he, when he had sought him to be crucified. Now in this time, Pilate has given up, crucified him because he know Jesus came to save the life of Barabbas. Even Barabbas, children, do you know who is Barabbas in our life? Barabbas is me and you. Barabbas is me who have committed sin. And when the sin entered inside our heart, we have tried so many times to solve this problem. But can you solve your, your sin alone? No. That's why God brought who? Jesus in our life to solve the problem of sin inside our life. And Barnabas is me and you. Jesus came to save our, our sin, came, came to deliver us from sin. But do you know, we have so many children who are still crying for their sin. They have taken their responsibility to solve what? Their sin. In this story, it's teaching us there is no responsibility for Barabbas to solve his problem. Jesus is there to solve his problem. Jesus is there to solve his sin. But so many people in this situation, so many people, they don't know who this, the work of Jesus. That's why Jesus in John chapter 1 verse John chapter 1, verse 29, he said, can you, are you there, children? You can see how Jesus solved the problem of who? Barnabas. How Jesus came to save Barnabas from the prison. In this story, he said, in John chapter 1, we can read all of you. Do you know where is John? It is John, after Luke, we go to John. The, when you, after Luke, you go to John, John chapter 1, there is a verse say, John chapter 1, we could say John chapter 1 verse 29, children are you there? Yeah, let's open now, John chapter 1 verse 29 said, the next day John see Jesus coming unto him and saying, behold the Lamb of God which take away the sea of the world. Now in this situation, in this story, Barnabas is me. Barnabas is you. The world is me and you children who came to took away all our sin. In this story, Jesus is, Jesus, God brought Jesus in this prison to save who? Barnabas. Barnabas has nothing to do in his problem, has nothing to solve his sin. That's why he needed who? Jesus. In this story, is teaching us that when Jesus, when John saw Jesus who took away the sin of you know, the sin of the world, the Lamb of God is Jesus. Jesus took he took away all the sin of Barabbas. That's why Barabbas was able to be released. Now, in this time, who is carrying all our sin? Jesus. Example: I have. Sin. Now I have surrendered to Jesus. Now in this time, who took away all my sin? Jesus. The sin of Barabbas, he was, uh, was where? In Jesus. Now who, has a, who, who is carrying the burden? Jesus. The, Jesus is the one carrying all the problem. That's why Barabbas was able to be what? To be released. In this story, is telling us that Jesus, he came to save our sin. Jesus came to save Barnabas from prison 
from sin. Now, children, can I tell you, God is the only one who can solve the problem. This God solved, brought Jesus to solve all our sin. Only we have so many children, they don't believe in the work of Jesus. If you, I can tell you, all our children, if you believe in Jesus, you are saved. You are made holy, you are made perfect. Like Barnabas who came out from prison, after coming up from prison, now you see, happy, joyful in his life. Now, all of us, we are in prison, but now Jesus, see, have come to save us from sin. It's only for you children, believe in Jesus. Believe in Jesus who came to solve all the problem of your sin in your life. Jesus did believe what Jesus did for you. After Barnabas, believe in Jesus, he was able to set free. He was able to set free from prison. Even as if we can able to believe in Jesus, we are able to be set to set to set free in prison, which is sin. I'm happy, and I believe all our children believe in Jesus, believe in the work of Jesus, what He did in your life. Barnabas story, it is me and you. Barnabas story is teaching me and you. Jesus really. Save us from all our sin. We are happy and also we are joyful if all our children believe in Jesus, what he has done for your life, and will be free from sin. I'm so thankful to all our children, and I believe, believe in Jesus, and will be able to be set free from all your sin, and will be able to live happy life, joyful ha life, and also peaceful life in your life. Thank you all of you children. Believe in Jesus and be blessed. Thank you children for listening. Thank you. Bye. See you next time. Bye.